So I said in the last episode that in this episode we are going to be doing pretty much the same thing that we did before, except now we are going to use functional components. And as I also said, until I, I think about a year and a half or maybe even two years ago, you couldn't do a state in functional components. But right now I'm going to show you how to use hooks to create state in those functional components. Okay, so now we have a button, right? It's a class component and we also have this color changer, which is also a class component. And this is our app right here. So this is what we have been doing up until now. So now let me show you how this looks in the browser. And as you can see, we just have three buttons that change the color of this square right here. So red, blue and green, right? Great. So we did that using the state in our color changer component with constructor, then super props. Then we are defining the state. We are defining the function that is going to uh, handle the change of that state. And then we have these buttons. When you click on them, they're just going to change it. So if you don't know what's going on here, please just check out the previous episode. So in this episode, we are going to do the same thing except we are not going to be using the class components, but we are going to be using functional components. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to leave this color changer right here. And we are going to create, I don't know, color changer functions component or something like that. Okay, so first of all, let's just create our function. And I'm going to call it color changer F. Now we have to return some HTML in it or JSX. So the output of that function. So it's pretty much the same thing that we have in our class component, except I just removed the on click event. And uh, what did I else remove the button style because we still don't have the state in our functional component. So we can't uh, use this handle color change and we, we can't use this state styling. So now I'm just going to add this color changer F to our application. Save it and let's check it out in the browser. And as you can see, we have a type error because I forgot to remove this dot state black color. So let's remove that. And we are just going to put background of white right here because we need to give some color to our block. Okay, so let's check this out. So this is our class component and this is our functional component. I'm just going to add some BR tags to just make uh, this functional component go a little bit more down. Okay, save it, check it out. Okay, so this is our functional component, our class component works. Of course, our functional component doesn't do anything just yet because it doesn't have a state. So how do you use state in functional components? Well, it's actually pretty easy. You would use state, you would use use state hook, right? So hooks are kind of a new thing in React and there are many of them for many different purposes. But in this episode, we are just going to focus on the use state hook, which is going to give us ability to have state in our functions. So how do you use them? So first of all, what you would do you would define, so unlike the state, you have to define a use state hook for every property that you would have in your state. So unlike this, where we have in the, in this, that state, we have block color and styling. Uh, here we would have to have two use state hooks, one for styling, one for uh, block color. So what you need to do, you need to define a variable that is going to carry your state. In our case, that is going to be called color block or block color actually. Okay. And then you need to define a function that is going to change your state for that block color. So to do that, you would usually call it set block color, right? And then you would say use state actually react dot use state and in here you can leave it empty you can uh, you can make this be null uh, but you usually define the initial state of uh, your block color for example so in our case that is going to be fff okay so now we define our state and we can use it right here 
So instead of doing FFF here, we can just do black color. Okay, save this and check it out. And as you can see, this still works. Our block is white and it's getting that whiteness from our state. So now let's define our, the style for our buttons. As you can see in our class components, we have this button style, which is also uh, coming from our state. So this state styling. So we're just going to create another use state hook. And in here, we are just going to uh, copy that styling like this. So of course you can put anything you want in the state. You can put even functions, uh, objects, uh, variables, whatever you like. So now we can use this button style on our buttons. Save it and check it out in the browser. Of course, I misspelled state. Now just save it and check it out. And now this works. So as you can see, our buttons are bigger and this component now looks exactly the same like that class component. So next thing we need to do, we need to make this clicking these buttons change the color of our square. So now since we already defined the function for setting our block color to change that state, we can just use this set block color. You wouldn't always do it like this because if you need to do some more complicated changes, then you could also add a function right here. And then in that function, you would do some calculations and then at the end of it, you would just set that block color. We will show that uh, in the future episodes. But for now, you can just do something like this. So you would just do on click, set block color to red. Let's check it out if this works. And as you can see, it works. Let's put it on all the other buttons. Save this and uh, check it out in the browser. So red, blue, green. It works. So this is the basics of use state hooks. And I think it's very important for you to learn them, especially read the documentation, because uh, some people in the community actually say that you shouldn't even be using class components anymore. In the company I work for human, we mostly use functional components 99.9% .9 of the time. We practically are not using class components at all. And uh, people in the community also say the same thing. Uh, some say that you shouldn't use class components at all. Some say that uh, you should maybe use class components on only for some very complicated components and so on. So hooks are the actual preferred way we are going to do things in this series and especially in the series uh, after this one, which is going to be about Next.js. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.